Well, hello everyone. Um, I want to talk to you, if I may, about a company called Flight Network. Uh, Flight Network is a company where you book your flight online. They then buy a ticket for you from uh, another company, you know, an airline, and they then send you your ticket. So uh, the reason why I want to talk to you about them is because, as far as I'm concerned, Flight Network are complete thieves. And I'll explain that in a minute. And obviously, if Flight Network is watching this video, I want you to know that you are thieves. But uh, the reason why I'm saying this, guys, you know, it's a big, big claim, isn't it? It's calling another company, calling a company thieves. But um, yeah, I booked this, booked a flight. I booked a flight through Flight Network, and uh, they got me a flight on Malaysian Airlines going to the Philippines to see my family. <laughs> Haven't seen my family for a year and a half because of the COVID restrictions, I just haven't been able to get to Manila. Uh, the restrictions were uh, eased, so I was able to book a flight through Flight Network uh, to get uh, to Manila. Uh, obviously, I got very, very excited. You know, my family was excited that I was coming home. And, um, you know, it's, it's been a tough time, hasn't it, for everybody, not just for me, but for everybody with this COVID thing. and. Yeah, and I was really excited to go and see my family and, you know, so I booked my PCR test and booked hotels, booked car hire, you know, you name it, you, you know the score, all the things you have to do, buy new clothes and, you know, to buy gifts and all the things, it's not just the flight, is it, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a massive amount of ex other expense that you've got to go through uh, to be able to go on holiday, not just the flight costs. But um, anyway, so about uh, maybe eight days, I think it was, before my flight was due, I get a text message from Flight Network saying, please check your emails as there's uh, a problem with your flight. So immediately, you know, my heart starts pounding because I'm thinking, oh God, you know, you know what's going to happen, what's happening? So I check my emails uh, and sure enough, uh, the email said we're really sorry but your flight's been cancelled and the airline is not offering you a refund that was what it said on the email um, so obviously you know I, I thought well I've got to ring them and see if they can get me on another flight or something did a few checks online and it turns out that um, Manila had gone into lockdown again and uh, pretty much all flights were cancelled to that uh, destination not all, but most of them. Uh, so, you know, uh, not my fault that the flight's been cancelled. So I, I give them a call. You know, I give, I give Flight Network a call, which turns out to be an Indian call centre. Uh, the first chap I spoke to, I just couldn't understand what he was saying. I had to put the phone down and, and call back again, try and get someone else. I just genuinely couldn't understand what he was saying. Um, so anyway, the second person I spoke to really didn't know what to do I said to them look you know I've, my flight's been cancelled so what happens now you know what do, do you get me on another another flight or what you know so uh, it was a girl actually she said um, she said uh, yeah I'll try and get you on a flight she went through all the system and no flights available uh, and then she told me there was a flight available on the 10th she could get me that one which was like in eight days past the original due flight and uh, so I said, well, get me on that one then, you know. So she went to book me for that and then told me, no, there's no spaces available and no other flights available. So I said, well, if there's no other flights available, can you get me on another airline? No, no, we can't get you on another airline. Sorry. So I said, well, in that case, I'll have a refund because obviously it's not my fault. The flight's been cancelled. It's been cancelled by the airline. Uh, she said, no, I'm not entitled to a refund, um, which, you know, was beyond me because as far as I'm concerned, if you, if your flight's cancelled by the airline, you're entitled to a refund. But, um, anyway, so I, you know, not argued, but I debated with her for a while and, and I thought, well, I'll, she said, well, call back in a few days and we'll have an answer for you. So I, I basically waited a couple of days, called back. Got a different person obviously you never get the same person do you a uh, different person and they told me i wasn't entitled to a refund and they also told me um i wasn't no i would get it i would be entitled to a voucher 
I said, well, how do I get this voucher then? You know, they said, oh, I'm, I can't deal with it. I'll have to put you on to someone else, you know. So I then waited another 20 minutes while they put me through to someone else, only to find they just put me through to another agent, you know, not to any specific department. That person also couldn't deal with uh, the, um, the uh, voucher, uh, return of the voucher, you know, flight... And I, you know, I just got, I was just going around around in circles. I kept calling different agents, and each time I was waiting like twenty minutes. Then I discovered that I'd actually racked up nearly a hundred pounds in calls to this uh, agency because they were situated in, I believe it was, uh, well, it says Colorado on the on the uh, on your phone. It says Colorado, but you actually you just know you're calling India because. It's obviously gets put through to an Indian call centre, you know. Every person you speak to is Indian, you know, or Indian accent. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm going round and round and round in circles. So, you know, I, I decided to call Malaysian Airlines um, just to see what they have to say. So I called Malaysian Airlines and, um, and immediately, they were really, really nice. They said, well, look, we've, we've refunded your money already because the flight was cancelled. We've given the flight money back to Flight Network, and it's up to Flight Network to now refund you, which is fair enough, isn't it? You know, they they've already refunded it, and they had it on their system that that, that the the refund had already gone through. So I called Flight Network again, another twenty minutes, thirty minutes, maybe almost for this time. It was quite a long time to get through. Eventually, I got through to the Indian call centre again. Uh, explained to them that the Malaysian Airlines had already refunded the money back to them. Uh, they said no, we haven't received any money. And I said, well, look, it's, they definitely have. They've, you know, they've gone through the system, and they they said they've clearly refunded my money, you know. But they were adamant they hadn't received any money, and that there's no way I was going to get a refund. So basically, they were stealing my money. And uh, at this point, I I uh, decided to take some legal advice and. And uh, I, you know, did a few searches online, trying to find, and I did some like reviews on the on the company. And if you go on to Trustpilot and put in uh, flightnetwork.com, you'll see the huge negative comments that this company's got, all about people that um, have booked flights, had their flights cancelled, and then just never been able to get their money back. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you are entitled to your money back if the airline cancels. But, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I've gone down the route of um, my credit card company. I've put in a claim. It's called a Section 75 clawback, where the visa company can actually uh, claw back the money for you. So I haven't quite received it yet, but, uh, you know, that's, that's that case is ongoing. Hopefully then in the next couple of days that'll be resolved and I'll be able to rebook my flight. But um, yeah, so the whole purpose of this video um, is to tell you never to use this company. They're just thieves. And if you read the reviews on Trustpilot, you're, everyone else is saying the same thing, that they're just thieves. And they're also saying that, um, that uh, a lot of people actually believe that that this particular company is booking flights that they know have a good chance of being cancelled by the airline and that way they can keep the money that, that the people have. So, you know, people's hard-earned cash is going to this company. They're then, and they then know that there's a good chance that flight is going to be cancelled. And when it is cancelled, they then keep the money and don't bother giving the refund. All they can do, all they do is offer you a voucher. Problem is, guys, trying to get the voucher and I have tried to get the voucher, but every agent I'm put through to doesn't know how to give me the voucher. So what they do is they say, oh, I'm just gonna put you through to another department so you can get your voucher, only to discover they just put you through to another agent who's probably sat at home because of the COVID restrictions and doesn't have a clue themselves how to get you a voucher. Yeah, so this, company remember remember the company guys a flight network don't even go there don't put yourself through the through the hassle read the reviews on trustpilot and on google and you'll see exactly what i mean don't trust them guys they are thieves